some of us, the holidays is a rough time of the year. Because you want to spend it with someone special. Now I do have my friends and my family, and I appreciate them very much. But seeing as that connection is my highest value, and specifically a romantic connection, when Christmas comes around, it's a little bit difficult to smile and be joyful when you feel like you have something missing in your life. But things will get better. I believe it. And you have to believe it too. So I'm here for you today. And we're going to spend time exploring new planets together. And I don't know about you, but before I do anything, I need my coffee. So, I'm going to use this teleporter to go to the perfect perk coffee. And we're here. So I haven't been outside of Earth for a little while now. So I'm very excited to get back to exploring the galaxy with you. And coming to the perfect perk coffee shop is the perfect way to start the day. Just look how cozy it is in here. Just warm and friendly and inviting. Beautifully lit and just comfy. So, definitely a great place to hit up either before or after your explorations. They have restrooms. If you need it, a very elegant one, I may say. And if we go up, we have this cool couch area. Kind of a good place for a more intimate hangout. As long as you don't mind people walking by you, coming up and down the stairs. And just look at that view. It's a beautiful night out. And of course, the third level is where the fun is at. Another beautiful fireplace, plenty of seating arrangements, so whether you come here alone, which 
is totally fine. I used to be scared of going to places alone by myself because I'm shy. And I feel like, oh my god, am I too awkward? You know, all these voices that get inside your head of, no, you shouldn't do that. You absolutely should. There's nothing wrong with it. I got some nice, chill music. Otherwise, if you have a friend or more, this is definitely worth checking out for a fun hangout night. And if you're not a fan of coffee, oh, don't worry. They have everything. They have tea. They have soda, they have juices and smoothies. They actually have a pretty good food menu. More simpler things like sandwiches and soup, but definitely hits the spot. So yeah, definitely a great place to check out but now we're gonna go explore there are infinite amount of planets to discover so We'll just see where the stars take us. Looks like we have another patron of the coffee shop. Have a good evening. <laughs> All right. I'm going to call my ship over here. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to get inside my ship and I'm just gonna let the ambiance take over for a bit till we travel to a different planet and as soon as we land I'll start talking. But until then, enjoy the ride, and we'll see each other really soon, I promise. Don't go anywhere, it won't take too long.
quite the planet. And don't worry, I have a great exosuit that will keep me protected. So even though it looks scary, I'm okay. So, let's talk. Firstly, this is an un, a supposedly undiscovered planet. But of course there are people here occupying it. But yeah, um, I guess first what I want to talk about before we get into, well, alrighty, how was it? Not so bad, was it? Very interesting. That's the thrill of space exploration is finding a planet that feels nothing like back home in a good way. It's so intriguing. And so beautiful. So, before we start to talk more, I want to say that every now and then my suit will pick up what sounds like a neighbor's water pipe going off. And when that happens, I can't talk over it. It's too loud, too invasive, not ASMR friendly at all. So there might be a time when I'm walking through and might just stop talking all of a sudden. That's probably why. Or sometimes it'll sound like an airplane, not a spaceship, is flying above me. It's the weirdest thing. Because you'll hear it and you'll look in the sky, but you don't see anything. Or you might hear like a door slam. I don't know. It will just pick up random things. And I just want to put a disclaimer on that, that I might have to edit those out or just deal with them if they're not too terrible, but I just wanted to put that out there because certainly in the past I've let it affect me negatively, either stop recording or I feel like I have to start over that kind of stuff and I'm trying to be kinder to myself and that's part of it it's recognizing that the setup I have is not perfect but I'm doing my best. And I know sometimes it's hard to recognize that in ourselves. Because if you're like me, 
you often think, well, sure, I'm doing my best, but so-and-so is doing these amazing things. So-and-so just did this amazing thing. Comparing yourself, comparing your journey to someone else's journey, is just not good for your mental health. It's not something that you can just turn off and on. There's no activation switch for that. You have to catch it manually. You have to recognize it. And you have to confront that feeling of however it makes you feel. Does it make you feel jealous or small, unworthy? And I know, certainly for me too, I'm not at the version of myself I want to be. I want to keep growing and I want to do amazing things. Get up here. Okay. That looks like it's gonna take a while. This is part of the uh, free roaming experience. Sometimes you just find yourselves in some very tight situations. And you just need the right tools to push through. We're talking about our journey, right? And you might not be at the stage, the mentality that you want to be at. And maybe you even feel like you've stepped backwards or fallen off. Like you were in better standing years ago. And it just seems like it keeps going down. But you 
have the strength to get up every day to put one foot in front of the other every day to show up And that is how you build strength. Showing up. It's so undervalued. Just show up for yourself. Don't do it because you feel like you need to be here when you want to be somewhere else. So you carved yourself a new path. And it's scary. Because you don't know where it leads to. And we're so hardwired with the fear, survival instincts to find something comfortable and make sure we maintain that. But every now and then, you have to take that step, take that risk. And even if you are too stubborn or too sad or too unsure of yourself to say it out loud by showing up, You are put in faith in yourself because you believe. I know it. Deep down, you believe it's going to work. Don't lose that. Some days are really hard, and I know that. I get it. as long as you keep showing up with your head up you'll grow a little bit each time and you'll be amazed at the progress beautiful place here, but really and truly, I feel like every planet I've been to has something beautiful to see. Every planet has something unique to it. You do too. You have something unique that only you can offer in this galaxy. Just take a look at how many stars are in the sky. Every story matters. And just because you think it's too small 
or insufficient. Well, I got news for you. It matters. What you do matters. And even if it's just you, even if you are the only person who's fighting for you, that is love. The self-love crusade has kind of been beaten to death in a way. But it is very important. Because if you can love yourself, And so can others. And even if you don't feel like it's true, it is. We never know the power of just saying something nice to someone you'll never see again. Showing some unkindness when they needed it and you didn't even know. Because you're putting out good energy into the universe. And it will come back to you. You are worthy, you are enough, you are you and no one else, and that is so amazing, it really is. Don't underestimate the person you've become. Every day that you get up, is awesome. That's what makes the journey continue. Just look at where I am right now. I had no idea where I would be. I couldn't anticipate this planet. There are so many And trust me, I've been there where it feels like, nope, my luck has run out. My light is dimming. And nope, I've already peaked. But it's just not true. You know. That life is not just a straight line. I don't have to tell you that. There are so many curves, twists, up and down. But as long as you keep the momentum moving forward, you'll be all right. might feel like there are no more opportunities, but there are. 
the universe just needs more time for you. It's okay if you don't feel like thinking about it. As long as you don't get sucked into the black hole, down that rabbit hole of negative thoughts, just put in a little bit of hope. It's going to do amazing things for you. Tell you right now, I'm grateful that I don't need to use this. <laughs> this planet's actually pretty peaceful, pretty chill, and it's beautiful at night, even though I can't feel that cool air on my skin, I can see it, I love the night time. It takes a certain darkness to see the light. Stars. Everyone's journey is different. So if you find yourself comparing yourself. And belittling, belittling yourself. Just remember that this path is what's meant for you. And you do. You do have the strength. And I know, when I was growing up, that word, those words, I should say, I'm proud of you, used to rub me the wrong way, where I would think, oh, are you just patronizing me? Oh, you're proud of me? But, believe it or not, people will root for you. There's so much good among all these worlds. Our society might highlight the bad, the evil, the good far outweighs the bad. You just don't see those 
in the headlines. Because it's not going to get the same reaction. The click. Most of us know. And I think you know it too. I'll bet that you're making this a better place. Even though I'm far off on this planet, I know that wherever you are right now, you're contributing far more than you realize. And that is such a beautiful thing. I'm not going to lie, there's always a resistance for me to venture out like this because I'll think, oh, but this could go wrong. This could end badly. Will anyone even care? Does anyone care? But, of course people do, and I care too, and that's where that anxiety comes from, is that I want to do well, I don't want to mess this up, I don't want to do a disservice. To you. And you just gotta show up. That's what I did. And I feel way better. I would feel awful if I hadn't. I would have let that energy drag me down. It would have ruined my day. Because that's what regret does. It just eats away at you. And it can last far longer than we like. So even if this isn't perfect, even if this isn't the most amazing thing on YouTube, we're here together. And that it worth it. And I love being able to show this off, to share this experience. It's far better than me doing this by myself with no purpose and no direction. I wanted to be here for you today, so I showed up, and you showed up. I, I can't describe how truly amazing that is. And I know 
amazing. It's such a buzzword nowadays, but people, people coming together is always amazing because it's so much easier to be divided, to not listen. It's so much easier to not show up, to stay out of it. So, that's why it's amazing to me. Anytime we can get together like this. So, thank you for being here. Such curious structure. I mean, this is wild. You wouldn't find anything like this on Earth. Unless it was part of a science fiction film or something. And in that case, it would be CGI or computer generated even. Oh, don't worry. I'm still here. I'm just taking it in, just like you. I want you to be able to hear what I hear as well. You can feel it. Okay. Don't freak out. But why does it sound like footsteps are behind? Is it that thing? Aha. Uh -huh. Are you playing hide and seek? I see you. So these things move? I don't know whether to be fascinated or creeped out. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Alright, well, I come in peace, so I'll leave. anyway
things are a little more calm. I think we've spent a good amount of time here, seeing beautiful new world, but I think we can explore even more. sky. It's all just so interesting. I want to find a different word besides amazing, but I mean, this is a planet we're talking about. That no one had discovered until today. Let's go see what their neighbor's up to.
looks like we came in after this fleet here. Very curious to see. What kind of planet we're looking at? Oceanic? Whoa. Whoa. Well, luckily this spaceship has some very good safety features. Saving me from crashing in this ocean. I'd rather take a planet of volcanoes over all this water. It's just a little bit scary to me. Maybe going to find larger pieces of land, or maybe it's only small patches. I just don't know. Almost like I'm discovering this for the very first time. It looks like I'm starting to see bigger stretches. Yeah. So maybe we'll land right here. Sixty-one point nine degrees Fahrenheit. Right. It looks like we got here just in time. Beautiful and a little bit deadly, if you don't mind. I take care of that. I take care of that. And again, I have my suit, which will protect me in extreme weather conditions such as this super heat storm couldn't imagine before these amazing exosuits what traveling to different planets must have been like couldn't have been great. You just fry up like bacon. If not for this kind of technology. You ever see something like this 
on earth? I think not. You just never know what you're going to discover. Well, let's see if we can jump over it. certainly jump on top of it, even in this storm right now. Oh, look at this little guy. A little, a little further up than I thought I would. That's all right. We're okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> See now, if I had started here, this does not look like a planet that was so much water. But here we are. I've always said this too about discovering places like this that it makes you feel small but in the best way like I'm a small piece in this universe but that doesn't take away my importance doesn't make my journey invalid. In fact, I find myself grateful to be able to experience something like this. I used to be afraid of going off by myself, being by myself. But the more I learn, the more I discover, the more I grow. And the more I change for the better. And while my journey is not perfect, nor is it complete, it's a journey worth living. brings me joy, and I hope it brings you joy, and if it does, then hell yeah it matters. You've seen these before. A knowledge stone. Speaking of learning, Now, 
this would be the first place I would think to set up a base camp. Wouldn't be the worst. I love these extremely massive plant lives. Ow. Hey, little guy. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't tell. It almost felt like he was burping there. <laughs> Who knows? started this video about, you know, feeling lonely on the holidays. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I spend some time with you. Because it makes me feel better too. Remember when we were approaching this planet, how small it looked? <laughs> and now here we are. It's just incredible. I love, I love it. I really can't imagine. we weren't travelers amongst the stars, if we weren't curious beyond belief, ow, that was really rude, oh, Do you see what I see? Yes. Some more knowledge stone. Some people might pronounce them knowledge stones. But I don't. And you shouldn't. And we're going to do the same thing. Just going to interact with it. And this one as well. I think we've had a pretty successful time. Didn't do too much. But I had fun. Hope you did as well. And if you enjoyed today, and if you still interested in following my journey, consider subscribing. I put a new video out every week, and you're always welcome.